the new addition to Digico's ST range, the ST10, sits comfortably above the ST8, both in terms of performance and price point. The ST10 has a number of additional features and benefits that instantly distinguish it from its smaller brother. It comes with all the refinements you would expect on any Digico console, but with some exciting new options and an application-specific feature set. To start with, the work surface is constructed from anodized aluminium, overlaid with polycarbonate panels to provide clear and concise user feedback. A large 15-inch digitally driven touch-sensitive screen provides the user with feedback, as well as fast control of all the main parameters. There are 37 100mm touch-sensitive faders to allow fast access to the large number of channels and outputs that can be assigned across the surface. The SD10 has 96 channels with full processing, 12 of which can be configured as full flexi channels. All inputs have dual mono inputs for fast main and alt channel switching. Standard input channel processing includes channel delay, single and multi-channel presets, high pass and low pass filters with an industry leading 24 dB per octave, four bands of parametric EQ with band curve selection, compressor and gate, dual inserts points and access to all busing. Standard output channel processing includes output delay, eight bands of parametric EQ, previously only seen on the ST7, compressor and gate, dual insert points, groups with bus-to-bus -bus routing, and auxes that have direct talk to output with dim control. There's also dynamic EQ to give you both expansion and compression on all four bands of the parametric EQ. Ideal for shaping and controlling your input or output signal in a dynamic way. These powerful processors can be assigned to any of the input or output channels, whether they're stereo or left centre right, and 10 units can be allocated as required. Multi-band compressors are installed, so that the user can master any input or output channel. This is perfect for managing complex in-ear monitoring or difficult input channels. Again, 10 units can be positioned on either input or output channels. Busing requirements continually increase, but the SD10 comes to the show prepared. 48 assignable buses can be configured as mono or stereo groups or auxiliary buses. As well as this already substantial busing resource, you get an additional stereo or left centre right master bus and a 16 by 12 output matrix with the SD range's industry-renowned routing flexibility. Dual solo buses are another additional, which give monitor engineers the comfort of accurate monitoring security. Building on the core processing are insertable FX and graphics. These units can be routed, controlled, and even snapshot recalled for the most complex show design. The 24 graphics can easily be inserted and controlled from the work surface faders and touchscreen, and 10 stealth stereo FX units can be configured at any time from the palette of 33 stealth FX. If you want even more processing and FX, Waves integration gives you further choice. Unlike all other sound grid platforms, Digico provides complete control of plug-in parameters, as well as recall of snapshots and single loading and saving directly from the console surface. 16 stereo sound grid racks can be inserted with up to eight plugins in each rack. Is 138 FX enough? Smart key macros are positioned on the right hand side of the ST10 surface with four layers of 10 RGB backlit smart keys. The user can program these to control any simple or complex functions that they want to be able to recall at the push of a button. Local I.O. positioned on the rear of the console is eight mic inputs, eight line outputs, eight mono AES I.O., two MADI connections with redundant cabling connections, 16 GPI and GPO connections, with the option to expand to 32 GPI and GPO, MIDI, as well as word clock, MADI and OptiCore for synchronization. 
Like all Digico consoles, the SD10 software will run on a standard PC or Intel-based Mac to allow offline preparation of sessions or remote control of the console itself. All the functions on the console are also available on the PC and the software interface is identical. In the same way as a console can be remote controlled by a PC, one SD10 can be linked to another using a standard Cat5 crossover cable. The two consoles are then both available, providing 74 faders for control. In this configuration, the audio engine of the first SD10 will also provide complete redundancy for the other. Here are six SD10 expansion options. One, you get second generation optical optic connections. Just like the SD7, an SD10 can connect to up to 14 SD or DRAC IDs with 448 audio channels on a single redundant optical loop. Two, five redundant consoles can share all input from the stage racks and outputs on the system can be assigned in blocks of eight. Taking a standard front of house and monitoring system as an example, a single rack can provide 56 inputs to both consoles, with 40 of the outputs assigned to the monitor console and 16 used by front of house for feeds back to the stage. Three, the system even allows one console to directly route outputs to another console on the loop for convenient tie lines. Four, don't forget that the D-Rack, SD-Rack, SD7 and SD10 can operate happily together at 96 kilohertz. The audio advantage here is very clear, but the additional advantage of speed means just over one millisecond of latency when routing a stage input through a channel and bus with processing back to a stage output. Five, sound grid waves can be added to the console, allowing full connection and control of a wave sound grid. At last, low latency plugins on a floating point digital console. Six, connectivity to the outside world isn't restricted to just the D-Rack and SD-Rack. The SD10 comes with different I.O. options because tailored Digico systems and complex setups are completely user configurable. Did we say six? Make that seven. You also get dual hot swap switch mode PSUs as standard. So that's the SD10. But this is Digico. So you wouldn't expect us to stop there. We're giving you not one, but two consoles in one surface. Simply adding the B application specific feature set converts your SD10 into the broadcast designed SD10B. Perfect for live to air broadcast. This method of tailoring a software package to a specific application isn't new for Digico. The SD7 and SD7T have proven the advantages to many owners working in theatre and live sound. Now broadcasters can take advantage of this flexibility with SD10 and SD10B. Additional features that are specific to broadcast include busing expansion, allowing mono, stereo, left center right, left center right surround and 5.1 buses. Complete 5.1 monitoring matrix with a 48 by six source to speaker selection. Multi-channel folding under a single fader. This means you can configure stereo, left center right, 5.1 or even up to 11 mono channels under a single fader strip that can be unfolded for individual control or neatly folded up for convenience and efficient work surface usage. User-defined stem order selection. The linking of two consoles to provide an extended work surface and audio engine redundancy. Mix minus buses, one per mono channel. Backstop PFL, overpress and auto PFL. Audio follow video implementation for up to 32 cameras. Redundant cabling. GPI for external triggering of any console function or functions. GPO for machine start, fader start and relay control. Dual solos for PFL and on-air soloing. SD rack connectivity that gives you hot swappable I.O. Redundant optical and MADI connection. I.O. formats that will include Dante, BNC AES and HDSDI. 
448 audio channels on 14 racks for audio networking and offline session editing and console remote control. So, there you have it. One surface, two consoles. Everything you've come to expect from Digico.